I came to really feel, and this is, um, look, I love being cynical as much and funny mm -hmm. as much as the rest of you, but I have to be sincere about Harriet Tubman. I, I came to feel um, that I was in conversation with her. So the questions that I had to ask, I asked in, in writing the script and in doing the movie. When I had a question, I would ask it, and I believed that I had the answer. What do you mean you would ask it? I would, I would ask her directly, Harriet, how do you feel about this? <laughs> are we cool? Mm -hmm. Are you, am I going too far? Or did this happen? How did it happen? And I, would, and I would wait until I felt that I was getting the answer. I have one question, which is, she's quoted as her last line being, I go to prepare a place for you. And I thought that that is one of the most beautiful, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I just wonder, you know, that, that was the one I, I didn't quite have the answer. Did you actually say that? Were those actually your last words? I go to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, my God, woman, mm -hmm. you know, that's beautiful. You've been knocked a bit for not casting an American, mm -hmm. an African-American woman in the lead, which is played by Cynthia Erivo mm -hmm. and, and very beautifully. Uh, how do you feel about that? And did you think about it when you cast the part? Uh, she was on the movie before me. Oh. Um, I did know that there would be, you know, conversation about it. But I felt so excited about it uh, in terms of culture bearing, you know. Um, I felt so excited about being an African-American woman, being able to tell the story of Harriet Tubman, you know. So I felt that I was bearing the culture in, in many ways. And um, two women producers, one of whom is African-American, Two writers, both African American, director, African American woman, African American costume designer, African American production designer, African American composer, African American hair and makeup. And um, I felt that we were bearing the culture of the Harriet Tubman story mm -hmm. beautifully. Um, about Cynthia, you just don't get any better. So, talking about um, preparing something with empathy and research and she was prepared in every way you could possibly be prepared to play this role. She was prepared physically, emotionally, spiritually to play Harriet Tubman. And she was, she was wonderful. It's such an interesting phrase, in the service of the truth, you know? Yeah. Um, but it, with historical, when you're doing historical representation, you know, something that is fiction and yet historical, you have to invent conversations. Yeah. You, you know these two people are friends. You know, we, like we know Harriet Tubman went to this place and met with these people. Um, but, you know, for instance, I, I did s seven months of pure research on, mm. on Harriet and the Underground Railroad. But, you know, in, in even the best scholarly books, you'll have uh, something that'll say she made her way to Philadelphia. It's like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> that we have to understand is that is that the language of the dominant culture is one that we all speak yeah. but there mm -hmm. there are specific cultures that we don't we, you know have to be versed yeah. in those languages yeah. so you have to do the work to, to you know figure yeah. out what that is yeah. and that takes I mean I've seen very good good work outside of culture obviously mm -hmm. yeah. I think is if the empathy is there and the investigation and it's you know it's it's done sincerely and you have to have the depth of really understanding and that means digging in, digging into the research, you know. Of course, of course, but you have to be, you have to really go the whole distance, you know, um, you can't toe dip, you know, so that's, I think when you, when you toe dip, I can feel it, you know, um, and, and when there's deep investigation, deep empathy and, and really digging into the story and the characters, then, then no, you, it's, you know, it's just a really good movie. Is the business an easier place to work today or not? I haven't worked with a screamer in a long time, mm -hmm. you know, but I mean, I know they're did. out there. Well, yeah. When what was, I was your in, worst when, experience? When I was an, an actor, I worked with um, somebody who is, um, I, I mean, I, I had a lot of love for him, but he was, um, you know, just cranky and, and, you know, I remember after takes saying, um, and he yelled at so many people after takes saying, you know, was that okay? And he said, yeah, it was good. It was fine. I would have yelled at you if it wasn't you know, <laughs> right. that kind of guy, you know, but, um, I, it certainly wasn't part of the, of my approach, um, because I did get to where as an actor work with directors that I, uh, you know, I could admire. And so I knew what I, what I liked. And so that's what I tried to bring in. Oh, hi there. Hi, I'm Casey Lemons. I'm Charles Randolph. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable. On YouTube. On YouTube.